When the travel guide Lonely Planet came up with the top 10 places in the world to party, the number one spot on the planet, believe it or not, wasn't Rio, it wasn't Amsterdam, it wasn't even fabulous Ibiza, Spain. It was the capital of the former Yugoslavia. It was Belgrade. Pyromania is the entertainment for our first stop of the night, a popular spot called Basta, which consists of several terraces climbing up a hillside, creating an ideal environment to meet some locals. It's before the party, you know, we, get, we come here to have a drink or something like that, and then we go to real parties. Well, if this isn't real enough for you, bartenders Igor and Cheta are willing to kick it up a few degrees with their fire juggling, drink mixing routine, probably something we should all really much stay away from if we've had a few to drink. Yeah. Now, I want to know, how'd you guys do that fire show? That's incredible. You see, uh, the inspiration is in the people. When the people yeah. are crazy, drink a beer, drink a cocktail, everything, yeah. we have more inspiration. That's right, inspiration in a can of lighter fluid. The Belgrade boys won't tell us how many eyebrows they've burned off perfecting this trick, but I'm sure it gets a whole lot of attention and a few phone numbers. Now, what are the drinks that I should get in Serbia while I'm here? In Serbia, yeah. in the first place, yeah. we must drink uh, rakia. rakia. No, Rakia, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of it. yeah you I've heard can of also rakia. apricot brandy, yeah. and yeah. The apricot is best. But what are the best yeah. cocktails that you best guys make? Cocktail. What are For your, me, yeah, me. What's your Long Island, Long Island ice tea. Ah, Long Island. Long Island ice tea. Uh, how about you? What's your drink? Uh, black Russian. Is there any like uh, like the white Serbian or the or the that purple? The Serbian dream. Also. Which one? Serbian yeah. dream, of course. Yeah. What's yeah. Serbian dream? Listen to me. Three different. Rakias, lime, brown sugar, cinnamon, and uh, Red Bull. So Belgrade overall is just a fun party city. Oh, it is. Great. It is. We've grown up, you know, like uh, with the clubs and all that. In Europe, you yeah. know, everybody now comes to Belgrade to have a party because gotcha. it's the greatest. Really, really it is. All right, let's take it down the river now, which is the place to party in Belgrade. Like this place right here. It's called the, the Freestyler which is essentially a huge floating party barge, which gets really loud and sexy all night long. The locals here call these places splobs and are very much happy to tell you all about them. What is the splob scene? Oh, that's something uh, unusual in Europe. It's a nice club on the river, and every summer we're opening clubs all across the river. So it's partying on the water yes. all summer long. I gotta tell you, when I'm in Belgrade, this is one of the first places I hit because it's so much fun, these party barges. The women are simply stunning as well. And true journalist that he is, Evan is about to go in and check it out for himself. And the first thing he's gonna find is, first of all, it's a raging party. Second of all, it's a country that really wants to put their own unique stamp on the world dance music scene. What, what is the Serbian music like? With a good rhythm, you can feel it no matter which language you speak. No matter who's spinning or why, people all over the world are out just to have a good time. The best ingredient for that doesn't change no matter where you go. So the girls in Serbia are muy caliente. On a Serbian you can say Nogo Lepa. Nogo Lepa. So if I go up to a girl and I say Nogo Lepa, they'll give me a smile, right? Yeah, give me a smile, uh, Nogo Lepa. <laughs> well, maybe that'll work on some of these girls, or maybe not. In any event, Sasha tells us that Belgrade has a smorgasbord of delights for that lonely traveler. And you have to taste it. You gotta taste it. Sasha says you gotta taste it. 